All right, Zach, we're here in Houston at DreamArt USA, a huge brand new facility. Why don't you tell me what the last two weeks have been like for you? Oh, uh, why it's a little bit crazy because we just moved to Texas. I come after the CC with few athletes, come at us, uh, few athletes from Brazil, and uh, we start a new uh, goal project here. Um, we couple months ago, I met Al and Javier, and uh, we start to talk, and uh, we he just say for me, hey, let's do something fun, you know, and uh, here we are. We open a school here, and uh, our goal here is like to share your your mindset, your purpose. We have a lot of athletes in Brazil and we always just in Brazil, but we understand now um, the Dream Arch project understands it's time to open, you know, for every, everyone. Uh, we will still focus on your purpose, you know, in Brazil with your project. And uh, here will be a place where we'll bring some athletes and uh, they come here for a couple months training competing uh, learning english learning about to give classes and the same more about the culture you know it's different uh, and uh, a lot of your athletes have a dream to be to come for a say open a school or live here you know and uh it should be amazing i think for us for everybody for the community in Texas, uh, he growing a lot. Uh, everybody want to like move to, to Texas now. And uh, we are really happy and excited to be here and to start with the work. Uh, we just have like two, we open the week, uh, this weekend and uh, a lot of people's coming and uh, people's coming training. They like the gym, they like uh, your training and uh, we are excited for the full tree. And uh, we have a lot of work to do uh, in the same time. Now, at the same time that you're out here and kind of opening the gym, you have a ton of athletes here who are all getting yeah. ready for No Deep In, just you know, across the way, right? Yes, yeah, next week. They will compete next week. It's, uh, it's our goal right now. Uh, we have uh, Panem's Nogi, Houston Whoop, Nogi Words, and in November we have Word Pro 2. Uh, me and Diana have uh, the BJJ SARS and uh, the BJJF for Grappling GP. And uh, we have a lot of tournaments. And uh, in the same way, we need to start with the work here, right here in the gym. And uh, we are so right now, like, focused in the, in the next uh, hour ago. Does it feel like the, the team uh, that you brought, especially the team headed to Nogi Parents, has kind of embrace the change and is ready to um, to start focusing on, on training for the competition coming up? Yes, yes, of course. Uh, we training a lot in Brazil, Gi. We train in Gi too, but not too much. And uh, we know here people's getting now more exciting uh, with the no Gi. And uh, we will try to train both Gi and no Gi because we have a lot of good athletes, you know, a lot of your, our athletes have a lot of opportunity, you know, and uh, we needed to be always uh, ready, you know, for the opportunity. And uh, we are studying more, you know, we're sewing at DCC right now. Uh, then we change a little bit, you know, have a, a new conceptions, you know. Uh, it's different with the gi, you know, and uh, we, I think we need just uh, change your mindset, you know, to compete in the no-gi because the rules is, is different, uh, the competitors is different, but uh, in jiu-jitsu, you know, uh, gi and no-gi jiu-jitsu, of course, uh, is, uh, have a lot of new things, you know, like a heel hook, uh, the, the, the rules, is some tournaments, is just subi only, and uh, we always train like for some rules, like we just won, you know, we need uh, to think about like points. And uh, when you compete like some tournaments, subi only, points doesn't matter, you know, you need to focus on the submissions. And uh, we are exciting. Now, 
you yourself, you yourself have two uh, big matches, tournaments coming up. Yeah. The first one being BGS Stars out in Brazil yeah. uh, against Mika Galvao. Yeah. Um, what did you think when, when Pepper brought you that match? Uh, I think this match will be good. Uh, we know each other. We train when Mika Melki uh, was doing art, you know. Of course, everybody like improving. Uh, I am different. They are different right now. And uh, I like the way they compete, their mindset, you know. Mika always put a show. And uh, when I accept this match, uh, was some challenge to me, you know. When uh, the BJJ, BJJ start calling me, I say, uh, no. And then he, they like starting to talk, with, uh, they keep uh, speak with me. And uh, I was thinking a lot, you know, because I'm just open the gym. I have a lot of work here, you know, to do. Uh, but the same way, it's, what, it's a good challenge for me, you know, because Mika, uh, this kid is, is insane, you know. And uh, if he, I want to fire with him, I need to really prepare myself. And uh, I'm now like, he, he, he put me to train really hard, you know, for this, for this match. And I'm happy, you know, to, to compete against him. Uh, I like him, his team, his father. But it's just our work, you know, we need to, to fight. And uh, everybody will see a great show. Um, you have a couple of uh, teammates that are competitors training yeah. for that event as well. Um, Talita is fighting uh, BM Mesquita. What do you think of that match? The Talita against BM Mesquita? I think this match will be good, you know. Uh, BM Mesquita is the best woman, you know. She's have a 10 times world championship. She's uh, won the, the ADCC too. Uh, BM Mesquita is a legend, you know. And uh, Talita, she's stayed with us for like I think almost two months, and uh, she's really hungry to grow in the you know, in the sport. Uh, I think it should be like a good match. And uh, Talita is so uh, hard work. She's so smart, and uh, I think this match will be so good. It will be really good, really good. And now, uh, Bia has a gold medal from ACC. Yes. She has a bronze medal from, uh, from this year. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have a, like a, a mindset, you know. If you wanna be the best, you need to be the best, you know. Uh, and uh, I think it's the it's the her motivation, you know. Of course, she respects, you know, be a mosquito person, but she's one one, you know. It's the goal, you know. Uh, we are competitor and. Uh, Everybody have a, like the same dream, and uh, Talita working hard to to beat B, you know, in the good way. But we are excited to to see this match too because uh, B M is is good, Talita is good, and uh, let's see what will happen. Uh, but of course, I want to ask you the following weekend. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna be right back here in Austin. Yeah, yeah. Right back in Austin for the IBJJF GP. Yeah. Originally scheduled for August, but now yeah. uh, delayed a little bit. Uh, you among the four men competing uh, for yeah, yeah. the grand prize here. Um, what, did, what did you think when the IBJJF brought you into, the, into this uh, or invited you into this uh, they, they They invited me the first time, but I was with a lot of things to do, and I said no. And then uh, now they, they send me. Uh, for me competing, and uh, I am exciting too. I, I, the time I live in, I want to put myself in challenge, you know. And uh, we have uh, like a good athletes on the division: Ronaldo, Hibama, Andre Pofilo. And uh, I never fight against Ronaldo. I never fight against Pofilo. I, I fight against Hibama. He's good. Well. And uh, when I saw like Ronaldo and Andre Pofilo, so oh, it's a uh, it would be a good challenge too because I know they are good, you know. And uh, the challenges put me in the 
in the to wake up every single day exciting. Compared to uh, to Andre and to Ronaldo, you're kind of yeah, you're a veteran, veteran, right? You're a very established veteran. Yeah. Uh, Ronaldo got his black belt in like 2019, 2020. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Porfirio, just even a year later from that. Yeah. Um, what what do you think of this? Like, let's call it a new generation, but of the style of Ronaldo, the style of, of Andre. Uh, jiu jitsu changed a lot, you know, every single year Jiu Jitsu changed. And uh, I like Ronaldo's style. Uh, he, he's like florid, you know. Uh, and Rapper Filho, he's more like try to be more smart, you know, like a lot of 50 50. Uh, and uh, the division was like really. Exciting, you know. Everybody have a, like the game is different, you know. Uh, Hibama, he thinks he play guard. He, he likes to pass guard too. And uh, we all have a, a great match in, in the GP, you know. The super fight too. The GP for women will be great too. And uh, it's, it will be amazing. Let's talk about the women's GP. We were just, just a minute, of course, your teammate. Yeah. And Rodriguez among the four women in that division. She's one of three world champions in that division, right? Yeah, yeah. It's Louisa and uh, Maisa, and then uh, kind of a wild card here in uh, yeah. in uh, Johnny and Mai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how do you see that division playing out for Anna? Uh, I think Anna, she's growing a lot. You know, she's this two times black belt world champion, but every single month she's growing a lot. She's training a lot too, and the, her mindset is. Uh, so good too, uh, and I think Anna living the the best moment, you know, in, in her life, in her career. Uh, I think she, her why in the best. He are the. I think he's the best. He is the best. Uh, her is the best uh, woman in the division, you know. I respect a lot Maisa and the Luisa and the Ginaina, but I think the. Anna's time will, will be like, uh, will count a lot, you know, for this uh, division. Uh, Lu uh, Luisa don't compete a long time, I don't see it, you know. Uh, Anna beat a couple of times Maisa, uh, and uh, Anna beat one time Genaina, but uh, I think a couple of years ago. But let's see, but uh, let me show Anna will win.